Hello guys, welcome to my first uh, shoe tech review. Um, as you're all aware, um, the running industry at the moment has brought out or has revolutionised shoe technology um, in bringing uh, carbon based shoes into the market, i.e., um, Kipchoge breaking the two hour marathon. Let's show you what I'll be reviewing today. Um, so, on, I've just brought their. I'm going to open the box. On, I've just brought their um, first carbon based shoe out in the market. Um, they're called the Farm Cloud Boom uh, on uh, Switz brand of uh, Bolt Out. Um, so, Let's start with the um, design of the shoe. So the on cloud boom has got, got 17 pods on the bottom of the shoe. So these pods are called cloud element and the foam is called Eva Gravity Foam. Um, so another part about the design the um, you'll notice there's quite a lot of um, quite a lot of gaps and holes um, this definitely helps with breathability of the shoe which is really important obviously with racing um, I definitely from personal experience um, struggle with something called hot foot um, so hot foot is um, where you basically your foot gets too warm um, and it sweats so then your foot slips in the shoe and then it causes rubbing um, and then the um, forefoot it basically feels you start to get a burning sensation so I didn't find this with this shoe at all um, and I usually suffer with that when I'm racing or when I'm running at really hard efforts. Um, so I was really, really impressed with that. Um, anyway, but back to the shoe. Um, so uh, the next thing about this design is definitely the pastel um, colorway. Um, I really like about I really like that about the shoe um, because um, it, it's not it, it's not designed to be a fashion shoe like a lot of the other uh, carbon based shoes or racing shoes on the market nowadays um, they are are you know they, they, they fit the purpose they are made and designed for running quick um, where a lot of the other shoes are designed to look quick um, not to say that they don't perform quick as well but I feel like oh, I've hit the nail on the head with these shoes. If we move on to the comfort of the shoes, um, this is something that I feel like these on cloud boom are missing. Um, the on cloud boom I find are obviously because they're such lightweight, they're actually weighing at um, 17.1 ounces in size 11 pretty light and um, they would struggle to get it any lighter without compromising the performance of the shoe um, but it definitely does compromise the comfort um, so um, it, it, it's definitely not the most comfortable of shoes that I've worn um, but it, it definitely suits the purpose for Personally, I wouldn't race any more than half marathon distance in them. Um, but lack of cushion. Um, but again, uh, they are racing flats. So I'd say as long as you're not chucking 100 mile weeks in them, um, they would perform perfectly well up to marathon. The type of terrain and the type of races. Um, Due to the design of the shoe with the uh, pods at the bottom of the shoes, um, you find that um, that gravel and stones can easily get stuck 
between the gaps. So I would definitely recommend keeping to track and road um, races. Um, I definitely wouldn't take them off road unless you're feeling brave. Price. Um, now, on the market, um, <coughs> obviously at the moment, the big ones are, are like next percents, um, which range from, I believe, um, they range from £250 to £350, if I'm correct. Um, and like some new balance uh, fuel cell carbon and uh, they range from um, £170 to £200 um, obviously depending on the colourway and where you buy them um, it does range um, the on cloud boom um, these guys go for £170 at the moment um, and you know they have only just come out so they're straight away they're already cheaper than all these other shoe brands my conclusion of the shoe um, I think they are definitely onto something on are definitely onto something new and um, they haven't followed the you know the likes of Nike, Adidas, and uh, and New Balance, where their shoes are based a lot more on cushion, um, and and they are quite bulky shoes. And um, so I feel like that, you know, these shoes have definitely gone down a slightly different route. They've gone down more min minimalistic, um, barefoot kind of um, style. Um, like I said, uh, the, the only thing I can really knock about these shoes is the um, is the uh, cushion of the shoe. But I also kind of feel like that's a strength because you're getting more of a feel for the road and get more of a, a sense, a feel, yeah, feel for the road. I think that's a good way of putting it. Um, so I feel like that definitely definitely improves your racing capabilities um, especially with the shoe being slightly more red let me show you um, slightly more flexy especially on the uh, on the forefoot because um, you find a lot of the shoes uh, especially racing shoes uh, the forefoot doesn't it doesn't flex um, it, it, the toe box stays very, very um, rigid, and I personally find that quite uncomfortable. Um, so I would definitely recommend um, the On Car Boom. Um, if you have any questions, uh, pop them in the box. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first uh, shoe tech review. Um, there will be more coming up very shortly. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Harley Henshaw on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm also on Strava under the same name. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy, guys. Take it easy.